traveled all through Spain in search of the best class of sangria. What I didn't know is that I could get spectacular sangria at Gypsy Bar, at Borgata, and Atlantic City, New Jersey. So let's go behind the burner and meet the mixologist and learn just how to make it. I'm here with mixologist Elizabeth Barasatian. We are making sangria today. Gypsy sangria. You need a few ingredients. Uh, you're just gonna need Pinot Noir, triple sec, peach schnapps, amaretto. Now the key to making a good sangria is fresh orange juice, so fresh squeezed orange juice, and fresh sour mix, which you can make at home very easily. That's or you great. Can... I never really knew what was in sour mix. So it's lime juice and sugar. That's it. That way you can make it as sweet or as tart as you like if you make it yourself. You're gonna take your tin of the smaller cup, fill it with ice, take your triple sec, and literally just a dash. Watch me booze it up. I'm like adding more than you are. Again, I got a heavy gas hand. Of now the amaretto is gonna be a little more difficult because there's a no pour spout on it. So mm -hmm. again, just a dash. And then same with the sour mix and orange juice. Vitamin C in my cocktail. Doesn't get better than that. That's right. <laughs> I'm gonna to top it off with a little red wine. And what kind of red wine do you like to use? You're using a Pinot Noir, you Pinot can Noir. use a Rioja from Spain. You can use as bold a flavor as you like. A Pinot Noir is a little bit lighter, and for all you health conscious out there, it's full of antioxidants, and it it's is. the best res red wine to drink. This is where the technique comes in. I'm gonna take the large tin, put it right on top. Uh-huh. Turn it over. Okay. And shake, senora. <laughs> <laughs> shake, And you can tell it's got a nice frothy top that it's ready to go. Pour it right in your glass. If you fill up the tin to the top, it'll fill the glass. Just and that is the key. Add your so, because I didn't fill my tin to the top, I get not a full cocktail. But this is the Gypsy Sangria. This is the Gypsy Sangria. Cheers. Mm. This has got really nice fresh fruit flavor. You get the juice in there. And a good fresh fruit flavor without the fresh fruit, which can go bad real fast if you're making a big pitcher and not drinking the whole thing. That's so true. It's got all the fruit flavor without having the fruit pieces, so it's not going to go bad, and exactly. this will last a very long time, although it will not last a long time in your glass. <laughs> I guarantee because it's that tasty. Thanks for having Cheers. us. Cheers. My pleasure. Stay tuned to Behind the Burner, where we give you the tips, tricks, and techniques that are lighting the culinary world on fire.